Hi, in this video, I'll show you how to make in the hoop mug rugs, trivets, and coasters with your embroidery machine. I'm Carlene with Embroidery Library. So many of you have been loving these designs and occasionally you have a few questions about how to put them together. They look different, but the construction is mostly the same. We'll walk through a full demonstration of a mug rug and then take a look at the differences for trivets and for coasters. No matter which of these designs you're stitching, you'll need two things before you get started. One is the project instructions that your design is linked to. The other is the color change sheet for that design. Those two things will give you the details to stitch out the specific design that you're working with. All right, let's get into it. First up, we're going to stitch out this in the hoop mug rug. When you download your mug rug design, you'll see a few files. One is the actual embroidery design. The others will have DL in the file name. And these are the die lines that you'll use to cut out your fabric. Open the die line files in embroidery software and print them out at actual size. If you don't have embroidery software, you can also hoop up a piece of paper and stitch the die line with just a needle but no thread. Then cut them out a little bit outside of the die line shape. If the file has overlapped shapes, print out enough copies that you can cut out a template for every shape. First, we're going to cut out our front piece. This one is special because we're adding batting. Lightly spray the back of your template with temporary spray adhesive and smooth it onto the front of your fabric. Then spray a piece of cotton batting with temporary spray adhesive and smooth it onto the back of your fabric. We've mostly used quilter's cotton for these, but you can also use similar fabrics like linen or twill if you like. Once everything is sandwiched together, cut out your shape right along the die line. The rest of the shapes don't get batting. Just stick your die line onto the front of the fabric and then cut out around the shape. After you've cut out all of your fabric shapes, carefully peel the paper off the front of the fabric. You want to match your thread colors to your fabric, so take a look at your color change sheet and figure out any substitutions you want to make. Now we're ready to start stitching our mug rug. Take the hoop that fits your design and hoop up a piece of tearaway stabilizer. Attach the hoop to the machine Load up the design and thread your machine with the first color. The first thing that stitches will be a placement die line. This will show you exactly where to place your front fabric. After the placement die line stitches, take the hoop off the machine. Spray the batting side of your front piece with temporary spray adhesive. Then press it onto the stabilizer precisely inside the die line. Put the hoop back on the embroidery machine. The next thing that stitches will be a tack down to hold the fabric in place. After that, the steps will vary depending on which design you're stitching. Follow the color change sheet for your design. Anytime you see a die line, the next thing you should do is take the hoop off the machine, spray that fabric piece with temporary spray adhesive, and then place it inside the die line. Then put the hoop back on the machine and keep stitching. Keep following the color change sheet until all of the applique and embroidered details have stitched out. Watch the color change sheet and stop right before the back piece tack down. Take the hoop off the embroidery machine and flip it over. Spray your back fabric piece with temporary spray adhesive and place it inside the shape on the back side of your mug rug. The other thing you'll need before you continue is a bobbin wound with the same thread used for each step from here to the end. Change your bobbin to the thread that matches your next color stop. Put the hoop back on your machine and stitch the next step. This tack down will hold the front and back of your mug rug together. Keep stitching the rest of the design. If there are additional color changes, remember to change your bobbin so that your thread matches each one. Once the design is finished stitching, take it off the machine, unhoop the stabilizer, and carefully tear the stabilizer away from the edges of the design. And our mug rug is finished. Different mug rug designs can have different details. For example, this one has a satin stitch border, while the one that we just made has an e-stitch border. They can come in different shapes like this, and they can have different types of stitch detail on them. Next, let's take a look at how trivets are different. For a trivet design, instead of adding batting to the front piece, we're going to use a special insulating fabric and add that to the back fabric piece. 
This material we're using is called Insulbrite, and it's specially designed to keep heat from transferring through. It's kind of thick and fluffy, so we do specially digitize and test these trivet designs to help prevent any issues with shifting. The other difference is that some trivet designs don't have one fabric piece covering the whole front of the trivet. For example, this chicken has several fabric pieces that'll go together like a puzzle to cover the front. Aside from those differences, you'll stitch out your trivet just like we did our mug rug. Anytime you see a die line stitch, take the hoop off the machine and stick the matching fabric piece inside. Then put it back on the machine and keep going. Keep following the color change sheet until you get to the back piece tack down. Take the hoop off the machine. If you want to add a loop to your trivet, take a seven inch piece of ribbon and use masking tape to stick it in place. Then take your back piece with the insulation and use temporary spray adhesive to stick it exactly inside your trivet shape. Then put the hoop back on the machine and finish stitching the rest of the design. Remember to match your bobbins to each color stop from here until the end. When the design is all done, unhoop it and tear away the stabilizer. With any in the hoop design, if you see little bits of stabilizer poking out of the edge, there are a few things you can do. If they're sticking out enough, you can use a small pair of scissors to remove the extra stabilizer. I find that just gently pressing in on the edges can make them look better. And if you want, you can even use a marker that matches your thread color to make your project look a little more polished. And our trivet is all done. Here are a few other examples of in the hoop trivets. You can see that they may have different types of applique, or sometimes they have no applique, but more emphasis on the embroidery. And finally, we have coasters. The main difference with these is that they're not designed to include batting or insulation. Otherwise, the construction is basically the same as our trivets and mug rugs. They may or may not have applique. They can also have a variety of edge finishes. These have an e-stitch border like our mug rug. And these have a raw edge border, so it's a good idea to use a non-fraying fabric like faux leather, ultra suede, cork, or felt. And these have a little bit of freestanding lace around the edge, so we stitch them on water-soluble stabilizer, but otherwise they're the same thing. These differences are really just cosmetic, so just follow your project instructions and your color change sheet and you'll be good to go. I hope this video gave you a clear picture of how to stitch out your in-the-hoop mug rugs, trivets, and coasters. Embroidery Library has lots more of these designs than just the ones shown in this video. So check out the link in the description to find your favorites. Let us know in the comments what questions you have. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date on our latest machine embroidery videos. Thanks for watching.